Yo, what's going on people? So today we gotta discuss for loops in C. A for loop, it's really similar to a while loop. One of the differences is that you tend to use a for loop if you want to repeat some code a limited number of times. If you need to possibly perform some code forever, a while loop would be better. But there's a lot of overlap where you could use one or the other. Creating a for loop, there's three optional steps. Initialization, a condition, and then update. Each is separated with a semicolon. Let's say we would like to count to 10. Here's how to create a for loop. You type for, parentheses, curly braces. Within the parentheses, we have our optional steps. The first step is initialization. We can create some sort of counter. A common programming convention for your counter is to create an integer of i. i in this case means iteration, but really anything will work, such as x, but you tend to see i. We'll set that equal to some number. We'll set it to zero. We'll start counting from zero. Each of these steps should be separated with a semicolon. The next step is a condition. When do we want to stop? We'll stop as long as i is less than 10. If i becomes equal to or greater than 10, we'll exit the for loop. This is our stopping condition. For the next step, we need a semicolon. Then we can update our counter, our counter of i. We'll say i++. plus plus. During each iteration of our loop, we'll increment i by 1 after each cycle. Just to test this, let's print the following using printf. We're going to display an integer we need a format specifier of d. I'll add a new line character. Then we will display our counter of i. We should print the numbers 0 through 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you want to count to 10, starting at 1, you could change i to be 1, and then the condition will be i is less than or equal to 10. Then we'll start at 1 and then count to 10. Or if we want to count to 100, we can set our condition to be i is less than or equal to 100. And we count all the way to 100, starting at 1. You can even count by 2s, or some other number. Instead of incrementing i by 1, we're going to increment by 2 by setting the update step to be i plus equals 2. Then we should count by 2s, starting at 1. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Or if we were to start at 2, where i equals 2, we start at 2 and then count by 2s all the way until 10. Or what if we counted by 3s, i plus equals 3. We start at 2. Counting up by 3, 5, 8. What if we would like to count down? Let's start at 10 and count down to 0. We'll set i equal to 10. We'll continue as long as i is greater than or equal to 0. Then i minus minus to decrement. We start at 10, count all the way down to 0. If we would like to count down by 2s, we could say i minus equals 2. Start at 10, and we're counting down by 2 all the way to 0, or even 3, or some other number. 10, 7, 4, 1. All right, now here's a mini project. We're going to count down from 10. We'll start at 10, count down to 0, and then print Happy New Year, like it's a countdown to a new year on New Year's Eve. We'll print... Happy New Year when we escape the for loop. We'll start at 10, count down to 0, and decrement by 1, i minus minus. Then we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Happy New Year. We can have our program sleep for approximately one second between each cycle of the for loop. Here's how. We'll need to include the following header file. Include... Now, if you're using Windows, include this header file, windows.h. This header file includes a sleep function meant for Windows. If you're on Linux or Mac, you'll need to include the following, include unistd.h. This file is for Windows, and this one is for Linux slash Mac. All right, before displaying a number, we're going to call the sleep function. If you're on Windows, type sleep with a capital S, 
then pass in 1,000 milliseconds. If you're on Linux or Mac, sleep is going to be lowercase, and you pass in seconds rather than milliseconds. I'm running Windows, I'm going to pass in 1,000 milliseconds to the sleep function, which starts with a capital S. And now this should work. Between each cycle, our program is going to sleep for approximately 1,000 milliseconds. Here we are. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Happy New Year. All right, everybody, that's a for loop. You repeat some code a limited amount of times. There's a lot of overlap where you could use a for loop or a while loop. For loops tend to be better to do something a certain or limited amount of times. And well, everybody, those are for loops in C.